Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a really fun, quick makeup tutorial all about yoga skin. I'm sure you guys have seen um, some little blog posts or YouTube videos already popping up about yoga skin, but today I thought I would do my own little rendition of it using non-toxic clean beauty products. So I've already done my skincare regime. If you guys want to know my morning skincare regime, I just uploaded a video a couple days ago. So make sure you go check that out. I'll see if I can link it up top here. Otherwise, I'll link it into the description box. Um, so did my morning skincare first, and then I'm going to apply some sunscreen. I know I think I applied it into my morning skincare as well, but I also want to include it in this video because skincare is so important. Sorry, sunscreen is so important. Skincare is also really important, but SPF is needed. So I'm just gonna apply that all over to my face. Doesn't matter if it's a sunny day or not. UVA rays can also penetrate through windows. So if you drive a lot or if you sit at a desk by um, a window that gets lots of sunlight, it can penetrate through and also cause damage. I will be talking about SPF, sunscreen, UVA, and UVBs more in depth in a designated video for that, so you guys can stay tuned just so you're a little bit more informed about you know, what the two types of UVs are and how they affect our skin. Okay, so the sunscreen I just used was the SPF 30 Face Sunscreen by Kula. This is a natural finish, so it's not going to add really any dewiness to your skin, but we will be doing that definitely with this yoga skin trend. I'm going to tuck my hair behind. So, the Yoga Skin Trend was created by a makeup artist called Sarah Hill. So basically, the whole concept of yoga skin is to look super fresh and dewy, not like glass skin or dull skin where your skin's supposed to look super flawless. Instead, this is supposed to look super real, super healthy, like you just came out of yoga, essentially, and you've got those nice, you know, rosy cheeks, circulations to your face. You look dewy and hydrated and youthful and healthy. So that is the, you know, face we're going for and we're going to use makeup to do so. Obviously you can go to yoga and do this, but you know, all of us want to achieve that yoga skin without actually going to yoga because we're short for time. So the whole concept of doing this is actually mixing quite a few products together. Now, I do want to mention that she does mix a foundation, a light to medium coverage foundation, nothing full, with a facial oil. However, there is a product by Kosas that is a tinted face oil, so it's obviously a facial oil mixed with pigments to create um, coverage while also hydration. So you could use this, but for the purpose of the video, I will be actually mixing um, facial oils and foundations just to replicate the um, concoction that she creates. So a few products. Um, first, you're going to want a light to medium coverage foundation. I'm using the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. This is in the shade Selena. And I'm just going to use a little palette. I'm going to do one, two, three pumps of that. This is three to four. I did about three. Might have a little bit more product than I need, but that's okay. Also, I'm going to do a pump of a facial oil. So I'm using the Goop Enriching Face Oil. I'm gonna do one and a half. I think she says one to two drops for that. Then one to two pumps of a liquid highlighter. I'm gonna be using the Graydon Skin Care Face Glow. This is a tinted primer and illuminator. I'm actually gonna just do one pump of this right there. And then I also have these little facial um, highlight of the day. These are basically serum drops with highlighting pigments in it. So I've got two. She does say that you can add um, 
some like enhancing highlighting drops. So these kind of remind me of the Cover Except Cover FX enhancing drops. So what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna do um, one little drop of each. I have the Afternoon Delight, which is more of a rose gold. And I forget the name of this. I'll have, I think it's called After Hours. And I'm running low on this. It's more of a creamy yellow tone highlight. You have to shake these up super well to mix the serum and the pigment. Okay, so I've got my little concoction. I'm just going to mix it all up with my finger. I don't want to waste any product, so I'm not going to be using a brush or a sponge because you are applying this with your hands. The whole point of applying this with your hands is that it's going to um, basically massage the product into your face. It's going to help blend it better. It's going to help massage your skin to build up circulation and have that natural dewiness and hydration and plumpness as you would get with a facial massage. So I'm just mixing the product together. Just gonna dot it on my face. <laughs> Probably have a little bit more than I need, but that's okay. I can always go back in later to touch up. So now that I have some product kind of placed on my face, I'm just going to massage with my fingers. Probably need to bring this down my neck because I do have a lot of product. And just so you know, your skincare routine should just set in for about five minutes prior to going ahead with your makeup. Just to make sure all those good serums and everything you apply really sink into your skin. Okay. Trying to avoid my hairline. And then you're just gonna kinda give yourself a massage. So your skin by now should look pretty dewy. I just kind of helped mix it in my nose and along my hairline. I just needed a mirror for that. Now to add a little bit more dimension, I am going to add a bit of um, bronzing and blush components. So I'm going to be using the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. I'm just going to apply this with my hand. I'm going to mix it between my two fingers. I'm just going to take a mirror for this. And I'm just going to dot it where the sun would hit me. Oops, got a lot in my eyebrow. Along my nose, and I'm kind of carving out along my cheekbones. A little bit on the chin, across my jawline. And then I'm just going to blend whatever's left on my fingers just down my neck. You can also use a beauty blender just if you need a little bit more precision. All right, there we go. There's the bronzer. And then blush, of course, I have my little palette right here of all my Cure Waste blushes. I think I'm gonna use Sun Touched. It's kind of like this warm, nudie, peachy kind of tone. 
And again, we're sticking with the creams to make it look super hydrated and natural, like you're naturally flushing from your workout. And I'm using my finger just to kind of pat the product in. And the whole point of this is not to look like you're, you know, a highlight bomb, but to look kind of dewy, a little bit sweaty, <laughs> flushed, everything you look like when you've, you know, just kind of come up from like a hot yoga class or a good spin cycle, though I never look that good after I come from, out from spin, to be honest, I look pretty awful, like a drowned rat, to be honest. Okay, if you want to add a little bit more highlight, I'm going to be using the Maya Chia Drops, the Serum Drops. These are great for adding some very natural looking highlight that gives you that sheen. I just dropped it in my palette so I wouldn't directly put it on my face. And then just dab with your finger the areas you want to add a little bit more highlight. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other side. Because it's a serum, it'll also add quite a bit of dewiness. Okay. So a few last steps just to kind of finish off the look so you're not just a bare face. I am going to curl my eyelashes. So you see how much of a difference that made? It just kind of like woke up our eyes. If you want, you could technically go in with a mascara, just a light coat, but I'm not even gonna bother. And then I'm going to brow, so you have the Ilia Essential Brow, just to kind of wisp up and set the brows in place. Okay, and then lastly, I'm just going to add my Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator Spray. Just to keep all that dewiness, and now I do have a little pimple in my eyebrow that I just want to cover up. I'm just going to use my Cure Weiss foundation because it's what I have on hand right now. It's a little bit higher coverage. And I'm not going crazy under my eyes. I want to leave those as natural as possible. Just really want to touch up on any blemishes that I don't want the whole world to see. If you have any little veins you want to cover, Definitely go ahead and kind of just pat a bit of product. Don't definitely don't be excessively using your concealer under your eyes or to highlight. We're doing very, very natural skin-like makeup. And I love using my finger because I really feel like it warms up the product and presses it into my skin. Okay, you guys, so that's it for the yoga skin video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, what are your thoughts on yoga skin? Do you like it? Is it something that you do on an everyday basis? Or is this totally too dewy for you? There's no way you're ever going to do it. Or maybe you'll just try the trend and see what you think.
Um, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys like this video, please definitely subscribe. I post a ton more videos on um, green beauty, skincare, and just non-toxic living in general. So if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like that, definitely click the subscribe button. Um, just to give you some ideas of what videos are coming up, I'm going to be talking about SPF, UVA, UVB, as mentioned earlier in the video, and I also am going to be breaking down some more skincare ingredients and um, other skincare products slash um, regimes that you guys may want to know a little bit more information about. And then I'm also going to be incorporating a little bit more of health and wellness into my YouTube channel, just generally talking about health, wellness, supplements, stuff like that. Um, and I'm really excited to move forward with my YouTube with more broad green wellness and living. So um, yeah, thanks for watching you guys and definitely stay tuned for my next video. Bye guys.